Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, and today I found a really cool kind of build concept, and I figured I would show it off to you guys. Now, this isn't anything new, but it's just a bunch of stuff we already know put together into one build, uh, which makes this kind of a new build in a way, but uh, I'll show you here pretty quick. So, basically, I stumbled across this build because I was really trying to find a use for the Legendary Titan. Uh, because I never use it, and it's just outshined by other class mods, such as the Legendary Gunsucker or Chaotic Evil Monk, or whatever. Um, I never really use this class mod. But it is a decent class mod, but the skills it gives you really doesn't help you in terms of damage. Uh, but the reason why it works so good for this build is because it gives you a lot of extra fire rate. And uh, also the health regen. Uh, I'll show you a trick here pretty quick, basically, showing um, health gating or a glass tank build with this class mod, which is uh, pretty cool too. So the way this build works is we're going to be using a one-shot launcher. Basically, one shot is consumed for, for each shot you shoot, uh, not including like, you know, the hive, which I think takes like three or four shots, or the Norfleet, which takes like two shots per shot. Uh, I think that's right. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But basically, we need launchers that shoot only one shot of your ammo. Because we're going to be doing the infinite ammo glitch uh, on your right-handed weapon, or trick, or whatever you want to call it, with a blot off launcher. So you can see here when I shoot, I consume one ammo, and I killed myself. No big deal, I can get this guy, hopefully. Uh, so I can shoot off one shot, and now I have infinite ammo on my right-handed weapon. You can see here, using all these skills together, you can create a very, very high damaging uh, build. And I can actually maximize my fire rate by activating out of bubblegum. And you have to have a depleted shield. And the reason I don't use the Rough Rider is because this gives you negative shield capacity. And because of that, what's going to happen is it's not going to count as you having a shield on at all. Um, I don't have a Rough Rider on me. So you have to use a different shield in order to uh, have zero. Otherwise, it won't count. And you can see here, your fire rate just gets really insane. And you can dish out a ton of damage. Uh, and this is with the Ahab, because the Ahab is a really slow firing weapon, but it is the highest base damage weapon in the game. Uh, include, like, in just terms of one set of damage, because the Norfleet can do like 9 million times 3, which is 27 million. But uh, the base damage is only 9 million, but it's times 3. And uh, the Fastball, that can do 27 million on OP8, but that's a grenade, I'm not counting that, so... Uh, so yeah, this is the highest damaging base weapon in the game, and I figured I would just try to find a use for it, and you can see here, you can do a lot of damage with it, and uh, it's also non-elemental, so this would be good for doing, like, Hyperius' shield, uh, because Roy damage and non-elemental damage uh, gets a pretty much full bonus, so, and you can see here, you can use other uh, launchers too, as long as they consume one ammo per shot, and you can just spam away and just do a lot of damage. And I also chose the Creamer here because you can heal off of that. And uh, I wanted to show you the glass tank setup here. So we have a Fabled Tortoise. And it has certain parts on it to give you just the right amount of health uh, reduction. So with that in mind, we can drop our health very low. And you can see now I have 3,000 health. And I really can't explain it too well unless I... Uh, damage myself or something like that. Let's see here. What can I use? And the only flaw with this build is you can't gain Gunzerk time uh, for each kill. Or what I should say is you can't really use Get Some. Uh, which means when you shoot an enemy, you get cooldown on your Gunzerk and basically Gunzerk forever. Um, you can't really do that with this build because launchers actually don't count as shooting an enemy. Uh, it counts as uh, just hitting them with a different type of damage, which won't count as a cooldown. Which kind of stinks, but you know, it's not a big deal. Um, you can still make great use of this build, uh, because we still have Yippie Ki Yay, which gives us extra gun circ time. So, to sum it up, we're getting 70% fire rate here, 88% uh, there. If you want to get a reload, we can get 50% there. Uh, get a kill, you're getting 40% there. Uh, and the best thing I found for this build is Shadow of the Seraphs, because the double shot uh, happens pretty often. Uh, I tried the Torg Allegiance Relic, and it does work okay, but it's only 24%. And uh, you can get much more uh, fire rate using the Shadow of the Seraphs. And also the Bandit one, too. I tried that out. It didn't work too well. Alright, so let's pop on the Fabled Tortoise here and show you what I mean. Uh, we have to wait for our Gun Circuit to come back. That's the only uh, problem with this build. So that's why I kind of included the Gun Circuit for cooldown and also just a Bone of the Ancients uh, for faster cooldown. And like I showed before, I do have the little Eevee. Um, if you do the little Eevee glitch, which I've shown off in the past, 
you can uh, get fast cooldown after you get a kill instead of waiting for your cooldown like like this. It's not as fast. Okay, so our gun Zerg's back. We'll put the Titan on. Uh, shout out the Seraphs, of course. And you can see I have 3,000 health. So when I get hit by something, all right, we gotta break our shield first. And as you can see here, my health just comes back instantly uh, because my health is so low and I'm able to actually hit the health gate, which means you can't die in one hit. Uh, unless it's your own damage, like I got wrecked. Um, so, with that in mind, you can actually not really have to worry about healing too much. And you don't have to worry about, you know, switching to the creamer and uh, getting some hits in to get your health back. But it is useful to use the creamer, though, if you're uh, dealing with a huge group of enemies. Because otherwise, you'll have to use the Ahab, and it's not that great because uh, you have to focus on a single target. And also, you run slow with the Fable Tortoise, so it's only good if you're going to be doing like a raid boss or something, so you don't die and have to heal so much. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and strip our shield again, and oh, we have the regen on our shield, so that's kind of a problem. Uh, let's see here, what else do I have to explain? I'm kind of just rambling on, I just want to show you uh, the concept of the build. Um, so, everything's pretty straightforward here, we have weapon swap speed. We went for weapon swap speed because of healing and also just switching to your uh, launchers faster. And we have all Vladoff parts on this launcher too, which means more fire rate. And even a Vladoff sight, because launchers get a bonus for their sights. And with a Vladoff sight, we're going to have extra fire rate. We don't really need reload speed or accuracy or anything like that. Which is kind of nice. Alright, let's get a shield stripped real fast. Okay, cool, cool. And you can see here with a huge grip of enemies, it's really no problem to kill them off. And they're already dead. Okay, that was fast. Bad example. Let's go over here and... Uh, actually, that's a good example since they died so fast. <clears throat> uh, sorry I've been kind of inactive lately. I've been kind of getting a little bit of cold or something. I don't know what it is, but uh, I haven't been feeling that great. My energy's been kind of low. And, uh, yeah, i just kind of taken a little break. Uh, it's been a couple days. I'm sorry about that. So I'll go ahead and clear out some enemies and uh, show off the build a little bit more in a montage. And, yeah, so go ahead and try it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed the video, of course, be sure to leave a like because that'd be epic. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.